last time boarding the ferry to burn array Continue we didn't know what to expect we were still sad about leaving harris behind probably because we're familiar with it and i don't know i mean we've been to lots of places that we don't know anything about but it's just a different feeling about this i couldn't quite put my finger on it perhaps it was because we didn't have a definite plan i don't like making plans because if you don't stick to them you get frustrated and sometimes you can't stick to them but I don't know I felt somewhat adrift perhaps taking time to breathe and relax on the journey across would shed some more light on it to think and talk about things on the way across and it turns out I think we were just tired. This fan ma life malarkey might seem like a big adventure and always a lot of fun but there are times when you just need a bit of a break. So we decided we'd we'd head off for a campsite and we'd just take some time out, do a bit of washing and just chill generally. See if that would just refresh the batteries. We've got no excuse, I mean, with all this beautiful scenery around us, we just needed to take a step back for a bit. So we looked it up and we found a campsite at a place called Balronald, and it's based on a nature reserve. What better place could there be to just chill out for a couple of days? Yeah, we did see something that made us smile en route. This chap here is a long distance hiker, Tony Bonning, also known as the storyteller and he's traversing the Hebridean Way to raise money for a horse rescue centre. Hi. we set up and settled in for a quiet evening, just relaxing and watching the local cattle. So I got that washing done and we went to have a look round the, the site. At the where we're at at the moment, there's this little June's cabin that saves, uh, serves, saves, serves, bacon sandwiches and all sorts of things. Well, Unfortunately, they are opening a new farm shop tomorrow. So it's going to be closed. Isn't that the way it goes for us? Never mind, we'll be back one day. Mm. So it was time to blow off those cobwebs. We'd had a couple of nights just relaxing and now it was time to get back out there and enjoy where we actually were. This is Horseshoe Bay. And unbelievably, it was only 14 metres from the entrance to the site. Where's he gone, Blue? Where's Bernie gone? Bernie come in. Bernie come in. Bernie's come in. The site warden has told us that it's only three miles around the nature reserve. So we thought, well, that's not far. However, what we didn't factor in was just how warm it was.
just one of those spots that you just walk around the corner to and you think, wow. The peace and tranquillity was just what the doctor ordered. We were beginning to wonder just how far this walk was taking us. You looking for the path? Where's he gone? And Blue Tell was playing his usual you. game of let's I'm dodge the camera. camera. I'm here with the camera. Hey Blue. <laughs> Are you playing all nonchalant? I know. And my feet are killing me. And then follow the beach round. And we won't, probably won't go on the beach. We'll follow the road along the top of the beach. Yeah. And back over to where that shiny building is. And flop. And flop. <laughs> and we did. It was a lovely evening to sit and watch the cows. Or maybe I should say more listen to the cows. Who knew that cows were so noisy when they eat? And later in the evening we settled down to watch some YouTube. Right. I've not put my seatbelt on yet because I'm going to jump out and put the rubbish All in right. the bin. Uh. <coughs> oh actually, have, we haven't fast have you fast some blue in? I haven't. <laughs> I thought you'd already done it, no. we just got back. Sorry, no. I'm doing my chores. I was Checklist, solar cable, done that. Waste, not used. Electrics, not used. Fridge, okay. Steps in, levelers we haven't used. Water's done. Kettle's filled. Gas is off. Dash cam's on. You can't get the staff, can you? I thought with him already being no, there, you'd done it. No, I put him there out the way while I got no, on with everything, didn't we, fella? There wouldn't we have go. gone anyway, You're but safe even now. so. You're safe now. <laughs> Are you going to so try and have a sleep? No, I didn't think you would. Try again, shall I? I think he would. I thought he'd have had a sleep. Oh, oh, right. Try again. Fucked in. Oh. There we go. By Val Ronald. Bal Ronald. Nice campsite here. Definitely recommend it. Oh yeah. Was it £22 for us for the night without electrics? I think it's only 24 if you have electrics. Which isn't bad really. No. This day. And the situation, the location's amazing. And there's a lovely little... Yeah, I think I took some footage of that. The little dunes... <laughs> Food cabin. It's like it, that's a little cabin, really, yeah. isn't it? A little cabin with that sells uh, seafood as well as yeah. bacon, bacon and egg sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give her away. Yeah, like bins. It's down there. You want me to go? No, I'll go to Thanks for watching, and come join us next time when we find a lovely spot for lunch. Have a bit of a crazy meltdown in the van before I get stuck on an elephant. <laughs>